Welcome to Next Gen Tesla. Mark Benioff is the well-known founder of Salesforce and an influential figure in the tech world. Recently surprised the public by sharing a video of Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, paying a visit to his office. Initially seemed like a celebration of technological progress quickly evolved into a point of debate. In the footage, the robot appeared stiff, unusually slow in its reactions. And lacking the vitality many expected based on Tesla's earlier ambitious promises, a poll circulating on social media reflected this skepticism, with 73% of participants admitting they were underwhelmed by what they saw. The controversy deepened when the clip hinted at a $200,000 price tag for Optimus, a figure that stands in stark contrast to Elon Musk's previous claims that the robot would eventually be priced between $20,000 and $25,000 such a leap. Concern about Tesla's direction. Raising doubts about whether the company had shifted its goals or whether the robot was failing to meet its intended benchmarks. Yet some experts cautioned that perhaps critics were too quick to form conclusions. They suggested that what the world had witnessed was not necessarily a failure, but possibly a deliberate test designed to explore how the robot might behave in different contexts. Several insiders familiar with Tesla's robotics program suggested that the unit appearing in Benioff's office was not the highly anticipated Generation 3 model or the rumored intermediate V3.5, but rather a specialized prototype crafted to operate in office environments. If true, this would explain why its movements seemed intentionally restrained. Tesla may have purposefully limited the bot's walking pace, range of motion and overall responsiveness to evaluate how stable and safe it would be in a corporate setting where predictability matters more than showmanship. Instead of highlighting dazzling acrobatics or complex dexterity, I think this particular experiment could have been aimed at ensuring the robot was safe to place near executives, employees, and guests in a professional environment. The awkward and measured behavior that so many criticized might have actually been the key to what Tesla was testing. In this light, the video could be interpreted not as proof of a setback, but as a carefully orchestrated demonstration of stability, dependability, and trustworthiness qualities that are far more valuable in the long run than a flashy but unpredictable display. Another compelling angle is the possibility that Tesla was quietly testing Optimus, artificial intelligence in a real-world social environment. The slower responses seen in the footage may not have been a byproduct of hardware limitations at all, but rather a sign that Tesla was experimenting with advanced natural language processing algorithms. Instead of prioritizing quick answers, which could risk inaccuracy or misunderstandings, Optimus may have been programmed to respond more cautiously and thoughtfully. It's better reflecting the measured communication style appropriate in an office. When asked a question as simple as whether there was a Coke in the kitchen, Optimus did not rush to reply with a possibly incorrect answer. Ousted. It acknowledged that it did not have the latest information and would need to check. Far from being a sign of incompetence, this answer reflected a professional level of caution that would actually be valued in a workplace measured, deliberate, and careful to avoid giving false assurances. In many ways, it was an example of Tesla's approach to creating a robot that is not only technically capable, but also socially reliable. Beneath the surface of its apparent slowness lies a level of mechanical sophistication that many overlook. Tesla's engineers have made remarkable strides with Optimus's hands, which now boast 22 degrees of freedom, bringing them closer to the intricacy of human anatomy. All of the robot's actuators, artificial tendons, and transmission systems have been integrated into its forearm, which allows for compact yet highly precise control. With such dexterity, Optimus is capable of performing a wide range of delicate tasks, from typing on keyboards to handling office documents, or even carrying out more intricate operations that demand steady and careful movements. In this sense, the seemingly uneventful performance in Benioff's video may have been masking the quiet. Revolution happening inside the shift from Optimus as a flashy demonstration robot into a genuinely useful assistant. Tesla's emphasis appears to be on three pillars, safety, stability, and utility. These qualities form the foundation of commercial viability. 
The mystery deepened when images of a golden-colored optimist began circulating across social media. Unlike the familiar white design of previous generations, this particular version featured a shiny gold finish. Echoing the aesthetic of Tesla's recently revealed cybercab. Until this point, the only other sighting of a gold optimist occurred when a unit was delivered to Kim Kardashian, one of the first public figures to show off Tesla's humanoid robot. Kardashian's golden robot was seen posing for pictures, waving, and even mimicking dance moves, which made it a novelty spectacle. With Benos video showing the second rare appearance of the golden edition, speculation ran wild. Many questioned. Whether this was the special design Elon Musk teased during Tesla's Q22025, Ernie's call when he described the next Optimus iteration as something truly special? While no one can say for certain whether the Golden Robot is an early form of Generation 3 or simply a limited edition, variant of Generation 2, one thing is clear. Tesla is experimenting with design elements that signal both refinement and premium positioning. Compared to the standard white models, the gold finish lends Optimus a more metallic, substantial, and polished presence. It is worth noting that Ske has repeatedly acknowledged the difficulties of scaling Optimus into mass production, the hardest. Challenge, according to him, is not only advancing the robot's intelligence or dexterity, but also redesigning it so, so that it can be manufactured efficiently within Tesla's complex supply chain. This is the same philosophy that underpinned the evolution of Tesla's electric vehicles. Just as the Model 3 was refined to balance cost, performance, and manufacturability, Optimus must follow a similar trajectory. For that reason, the upcoming Generation 3 is widely expected to introduce a design optimized for mass production rather than just impressive demonstrations. If Tesla can achieve this balance, Optimus will not only become more affordable, but will also be produced at scale, allowing it to reach households, businesses, and institutions far beyond the initial novelty stage, even in its current state. Optimus has already demonstrated value in office environments by taking over repetitive and routine tasks. It can carry documents, deliver drinks, check office equipment, and transport supplies through warehouses. While critics focus on its lack of speed, these functions do not actually require fast movement. What matters most is consistency, precision, and safety. By handling such tasks reliably, Optimus frees human workers to focus on more complex or creative responsibilities. The potential applications extend even further into households where Optimus could eventually assist with basic chores, such as cooking, cleaning, or helping the elderly and disabled with daily routines. The robot's dexterity could allow it to hold glasses of water, open doors, or provide physical support to individuals in need. In healthcare settings, where caution outweighs speed, Optimus could shine by delivering medicine, carrying patient, files, and aiding staff in non-critical activities. In these cases, its deliberate and careful style of movement is not a limitation, but a key asset. Interestingly, the awkward image of Optimus seen in Benoff's video might actually serve Tesla's broader purpose of building public trust instead of evoking fear that robots might replace skilled human workers. The slow and almost trainee-like demeanor of Optimus presents it as approachable and non-threatening. This makes it easier for people to accept the idea of robots as companions and assistants rather than rivals. Tesla has been deliberate in pursuing a design that resembles human form as closely as possible. Even though this approach is far more challenging than creating a machine with a less human-like appearance, the result, however, is that Optimus already stands out as one of the most visually appealing humanoid robots available. Designed to bridge the psychological gap between machines and people, in terms of specifications, Optimus measures approximately 5 feet 10 in height and weighs about 138 pounds. Its hands feature five fully articulated fingers, while its neck allows two degrees of freedom for side-to-side -side rotation. Its feet are capable of balancing and lifting in a way that mirrors human walking its current maximum walking speed it is only 1.34 miles per hour slower than the average human pace of 2 to 3 miles per hour. It is not far behind and is expected to improve with ongoing development. 
when compared to Generation 1, which appeared clunky, unfinished, and even somewhat unsafe with exposed wiring. The Generation 2 model marked a dramatic improvement with sleek, enclosed surfaces and a more professional look. This transformation illustrates Tesla's capacity for rapid advancement. And Gen 3 is widely expected to take these refinements even further. With upgraded materials such as carbon fiber or polycarbonate for durability and weight reduction, looking ahead to the next iteration. Tesla's Optimus Generation 3 is expected to embody even more significant refinements that extend beyond aesthetics. One area of improvement likely to stand out is the reduction of overall weight, 